Welcome to the Old Manila in the Philippines in Tramuros. Okay, so we're getting ready to do a tour inside the walled city. Yes. And inside the walled yes, city is called what? Uh, the historical places. Okay, but in Tramuros? Yeah, in Tramuros is Old Manila. Old Manila. So uh, this is a pedicab. And what do you call a pedicab in Filipino? Paja. Paja. <laughs> we're going for a ride in a Paja. Yes. <laughs> no problem, our driver is strong. So Bob and I barely fit in this little... Uh... Uh, experience. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Oh yes! Yeah. I think we're gonna need a massage at the end of this. <laughs> this is a tuk-tuk in. Ah, uh, you're uh, right. You're right. The pity cup. You enjoy. Look at him. I gotta show you this guy's legs. They're like steel. inside the walled city. This was built in 1592 by the Spanish to protect. It's over 64 hectares inside and this wall is amazing. There still are 16 cannons. There's our guide Richard what and always in the background working? there's Bob. So as you can see this is uh, kind of a memorial to a soldier. His face is over here. Uh, you can see the gun now and now this is just a regular kind of slide. I haven't been on a slide since Kennedy was in office. I think I made it, oh my God. So one of the interesting things about this church that we just toured is that it's been destroyed seven times. Five times by earthquake, once by war, and once by typhoon. So just to give you a little introduction, you see that thing in the background? See that? They are lined up, five, ten of them, and they don't move for 10 minutes. And meanwhile, we're in our little Filipino Ferrari and loving it. Yeah, Richard's taking us all around and we're a little scared sometimes yeah, when he turns yeah. on a street and all of a sudden in a bicycle, uh, he turns in front of all this traffic, but surprisingly with both of us in the car, he's quick. And I'm still here, which is really a surprise. <laughs> Onward in Manila. So this is like Central Park in Manila. It's called the Jose Rizal Memorial. So Jose, was this guy who the Filipinos loved. He did all kinds of great things for him and then the Spanish, well, they shot and killed him. So this park is in his honor and in honor of all who have served the military for the Philippines. Check out the statue, there's guards here 24-7. It's very important to the people. So as you would imagine, all over this area are lots of war things. This is a monument uh, to all the victims of war. And the most heart-wrenching part is the mother figure represents the motherland. And the future, she's holding a baby in her arms, but the baby is dead. And this is a memorial to the innocent victims, many of whom were never buried, never found, destroyed in fires or buildings that were destroyed during the many wars and weather incidents here. It's quite the emotional experience to be standing here. And at the back of this is a time capsule that was buried in 1945 and will be opened 100 years later in 2045. So it was America who gave the Philippines their freedom right after the war. But there are remembrances with bombed out buildings and uh, other historical artifacts from the war, including this wall. The holes that you see on this wall um, are from bullets. This was a wall in which people were executed and is a reminder of the price of freedom here in the Philippines. And of course, General Douglas MacArthur is closely aligned with what went on in the Philippines and these are his barracks. So we're really only here a couple of days, so we didn't get any money. So we only have US dollars. So we go inside 7-Eleven here in Manila but they don't take U.S. dollars, they don't take credit cards. So Richard here helped us out, 15 pesos a piece, and we've got water. All Delicious. right, Richard. Way to go, Richard. When you're here, you have the opportunity to get a tour bus, or you can go with a gentleman like this who owns this rig over here, or take a look at this. This is a Philippine pony, and uh, this, guy, this guy's gonna get to drive himself. He's definitely uh, in luck, but this is a way to go around here in Manila. Absolutely fabulous.
built in 1603, used in 18th century during of Spanish time. So when you think of Manila and the Philippines, you probably don't think about this. Take a look at this. I mean... And that's when the traffic is moving. Now, we aren't in a car. We're in this uh, Philippine limousine that's a bicycle, and he runs around in the middle of all of those cars. It's crazy. Of, of course, it's not good for my heart, <laughs> but it's a great memory. We're back to the boat. And home sweet home, the Crystal Serenity in the background. It's uh, one wonderful day in Manila. Oh my God. We learned so much, we had a ton of fun, and almost got killed, what, just four or five times? That's At about least four it. or five times, and that was in the first eight blocks. <laughs> One of the most interesting things for me, you know, so many of the countries here in Asia are Buddhist, but Philippines, not so true. They're like 98% Christian. And the other thing that's interesting is no matter where we went, people stared. And uh, one of them came Once up and again. said, you're so white. <laughs> So uh, we're taking our white selves and moving on to Hong Kong. <laughs> but we had a great time. Everyone was so nice, strangers smiling and waving yeah. on the streets. Yep. Uh, we were very welcome, felt very safe, and uh, now it's time for a, a cocktail and moving on. Bon voyage from Manila. Ciao.